Okay, uh, Apache Tomcat is developed uh, by Apache vendors. Okay, it is a it is a open source tool and it is a lightweight application server. Uh, you can, like uh, comparing with uh, WebLogic and Web Server, it is very lightweight and it is a open source. Anyone can download uh, without cost and they can deploy their applications in Apache Tomcat. Okay. So what we are going to cover in this session is uh, how we can set up a Tomcat server and how we can deploy one sample application and what is the deployer and uh, how we can use the manager application and really really means uh, uh, how we can manage users in Tomcat and how we can provide a security and database JDBC data sources and how we can configure uh, SSL secure socket layers means uh, uh, secure uh, certificates and how we can monitoring and manage the Tomcat uh, law Tomcat uh, uh, JVM uh, memory and virtual hosting and uh, how we can create a Windows uh, service in Windows machines and how we can run a daemon service in Linux environment. Okay. So uh, the Apache Tomcat server is open source and it is a Java based web application uh, application container and that was created uh, to run a uh, solid and Java server uh, pages uh, Java server pages and it was created under Apache sub project uh, at the starting stage and due to its popularity it is moved to separate subdomain uh, like tomcat.apache.org okay and it is a open source so we can download and if you want to extend any features on the tomcat we can download the source code and we can extend the uh, tomcat service okay hello all are facing the same issue okay Okay, so I think maybe your uh, network connection is slow. <coughs> okay. okay, so we have a lot of Tomcat versions and uh, current version is 8 uh, 8 version tomcat 8 and after that some sub version also there to some like 22 and these are the tomcat versions and these are the servlet api versions supporting and jsp apis versions and jre supporting versions and if you are uh, if you want to install apache tomcat 8 uh, these apis will pack with on the Installers, Sarlet Hyphen API and JSP Hyphen APIs. Okay, uh, in that we can see the two jars, Sarlet Hyphen API jar and JSP Hyphen API jar. Those two jars with these versions, 3.1 and 2.3. And if you want to install uh, Tomcat 8, we need uh, JRE 1.7 or higher version. Okay. So, what are the prerequisites we have? What are the prerequisites to run Apache Tomcat? We have to install Java version, okay? And how we can check the Java version? Uh, we can open the command prompt and we can type the Java space hyphen version. Uh, it will give you version. If, uh, if Java is not installed, it will throw some error. Java is not recognized as an internal or external command. And if you get this 
uh, error we have to install the uh, java and once sometimes uh, if your java will display some list of options available on the java command and once you get the command uh, successfully you have to run one more command java c and if you get any errors on this java c command means your java is installed but your java bin folder not set in the your system path so we have to set your java bin folder to uh, system path so then uh, your java c command also will work okay uh, how we can set the windows in uh, environment variable we can see in this slide okay i think uh, you, you people are already installed java okay if you not install java i will uh, i will show you how to install the java also okay uh, once our prerequisites is installed successfully uh, next we have to download the apache tomcat so where we can download the apache tomcat we can download apache tomcat uh, from tomcat.apache.org site so in that uh, it will display some list of uh, installers like uh, windows installer and linux in installers and windows 32 64 bit zip files uh, some different kinds of uh, binaries will available on this site okay uh, based on our system uh, configuration we have to download specific installer okay so once we download the uh, tomcat let's assume I, I downloaded the tomcat zip file so once you download we will get the zip file and you can simply right click on the zip file and you can extract here or you can extract uh, some some other different location okay uh, there is uh, nothing much on installation you can if you download the zip file you can just extract uh, zip file in any specific folder okay so once you extracted your tomcat zip file you will see the these this directory structure okay this tomcat base let's assume this is the tomcat uh, apache tomcat 8 okay so in this is the base directory and inside you can see these main folders bin conf lib logs temp web apps work these uh, these directories you can see in the tomcat installation directory okay and in the conf directory we have some configuration files and in this web apps some sample app, uh, sample applications available in this web apps folder okay so let me explain uh, on each folder so first one is bin folder uh, what are the things we can contain in this bin folder uh, bin folder contains the startup and shutdown scripts for both windows and linux okay and some jar files with classes required for tomcat start are also stored here okay so means some binaries and some jar files are available in this bin folder and next conf directory it contains the main configuration files for tomcat and we have two most important uh, files are server.xml and one global web.xml file okay this is the main uh, web.xml is the application con context file for any web application okay so next one is the lib directory it contains the tomcat java archive files and shared across all tomcat components means all web applications deployed to tomcat can access the library stored here means uh, this includes servlet api and jsp api libraries so if we are developing web application means uh, we, we have to use some servlets or we have to use some jsp apis in our web application so if we are going to deploy that application into application container means we no need to uh, copy the servlet jar because 
the servlet and JSP API just are available in the Tomcat application container. So we no need to pack those uh, API jars with our web application. Okay. And let's assume uh, generally in web applications, we will use the some database connections. Let's assume uh, I'm using MySQL database. So if you if I want to run my web application, uh, I have to copy my MySQL jar with my web application. So I am going to deploy a couple of applications and those two applications using MySQL connector jar. So instead of packing the jar with uh, two applications, we can just copy the MySQL connector jar in the lib directory, Tomcat lib directory. If we are placing any jar in this lib directory, this is shared to all the deployed applications. Okay. Is it clear? Okay, and next one is logs. So logs contains the Tomcat's log files. Suppose uh, I started Tomcat server. It is not started. So what I can what I can I do? Uh, I have to check why I have to debug uh, why it is not starting. So where we can find uh, why it is not starting? We can see the log files. We can see the log file and we can identify what is the problem. Okay, and temp a uh, temporary file system storage and uh, exactly when it will useful uh, suppose uh, let's take a file upload example okay uh, we have a file upload option in our web application okay uh, uh, how file will upload we will browse one file from our file system and we will click upload at the time uh, it will not directly upload the file to file uh, server it will uh, copy bytes by bytes and uh, actually where it will put that uh, 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 data it will first it will put in the temp directory okay it will uh, transfer bytes by bytes and it will store in the temp directory once all bytes reading is completed then it will copy to the exact location Okay, so at that time, this temp directory will use. And next one is web apps, the directory where all web applications are deployed. So if you are developed any application, you can just take that application folder and you can copy in the web apps folder. Okay. Or you have a var file, you can just place your var file in the web apps folder. Okay, and next work directory. Tomcat's working directory where uh, Tomcat places all servlets that are generated from JSPs. Uh, we can write Java code in the JSP pages. JSP pages like a HTML pages. So without uh, we no need to compile JSP pages. We can just uh, copy. So if you want to run Java code we have to compile java code and we have to use those classes so if you are right if you are written any java code in jsp pages we no need to compile okay it will compile at runtime and it will store the com, uh, generated class files in this work directory okay is it clear So, so our Tomcat uh, extraction is completed and how we can run Tomcat server. Okay. Uh, 
we have a startup and shutdown scripts in bin folder right so we can uh, we can move to the bin folder and we can uh, if we are installed in windows machine we can directly double click on the startup.bat okay if we are installed in linux environment we have to start we have to run the startup.sh okay so once tomcat is started how we can uh, uh, how we can tell uh, tomcat is up and running we have to access the tomcat url what is the tomcat url uh, it is installed in local system means we have to use the ip address is localhost and the tomcat default port is 8080 so we can use uh, uh open this url in the browser http colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 so your uh, if it is opening any uh, manager application manager login means your tomcat is up and running okay so let me show you uh, how to install the tomcat server okay can i show you the tomcat installation in linux environment i think you all are all are familiar with the linux environment right okay so so where we can download apache tomcat we can download it from tomcat.apache.org and in the left side we have a download option okay so here uh, we can see the versions tomcat 8 tomcat 7 tomcat 6 we can click on the tomcat 8 okay and the current version is 8.0.23 okay you can click on this and here we can see core and here we have a zip file and we have a tar.gz for linux and mac and we have a 32 bit zip and 64 bit zip and uh, here we have a installer uh, for windows environment okay for uh, you can uh, you can download the zip file okay you can extract it if your java is 32 bit java then you can download the 32 bit windows zip okay if your java is 64 bit you can download your 64 bit windows zip okay for linux you can download the tar.gz okay so so i have downloaded apache tomcat 8.0.23 oh okay uh, now we have to download the tar.gz okay okay this is my linux vm Then we can download Tomcat dot Apache dot Watch. Okay, click on Tomcat eight. So here I am downloading the tar dot gz. Okay, save file. Okay. So we have to check the prerequisites, right? So can open terminal
Java iPhone hmm. version. Okay, so means Java is not installed. Okay, we have to install the Java also. So this is my Java installer. I'm copying it to my VM location. Okay, so here my Java installer and I want to install it on. I'm going to install it uh, USR local. Here I am creating CD space local. Make tire Java Okay, and my installer is on desktop so here I am extracting tab iPhone ZXVF and JDK hyphen C means we can specify the installer location uh, where you want to extract this zip file. Uh, SR local Java. can see here java is here and it is extracted jdk 1.8 it is extracting okay extraction is completed and here the java install is extracted okay so we have to uh, set java underscore home environment variable and we have to put this jdk bin folder to system path uh, how we can set system variables in linux environment okay nano we can use any editor nano rvi etc profile okay we have to add uh, system environment variables in this profile file or uh, we can create new file in the profile that default uh, d folder okay if you create any uh, file in this it will load the file at the system startup time okay now i am directly editing the uh, etc profile file Okay, uh, before this, if here I am writing 
export java underscore home slash usr slash local slash java slash jdk 1.8.0 underscore 45 okay this is the java home and we have to set the path okay here dollar java underscore home slash bin colon percentile sorry dollar path so here in the path environment variable first we are setting the jdk bin folder after that we are appending the existing system path okay press ctrl x and it will ask you confirmation you can uh, type y and hit enter okay so now you can type java so still it is saying your java is not installed if you are updating your etc profile file sometimes it will not reflect okay so at the time you have to run the command source command you have to run the source command source etc profile source and you have to specify file it will reload that file okay and press enter so now you can type java command cannot execute binary file okay maybe some permissions issue so change mode iphone r triple seven user local java jdk so now we can type ja cannot execute anything one moment yeah yeah i'm using ubuntu Okay, maybe some it is not extracted properly. I will remove that folder. Uh, remove space siphon user local Java JDK. Me 
should have Now I'll write Java and JDK again. JDK has few permissions on it. Okay, I got it. Okay, uh, here I am. It is the 64 bit Java. I am trying to install it on 32 bit VM. That's why it is getting the problem. So. So I am installing 32 bit Java. I'm going to install. Yes. It is based desktop. Space a one hundred X P F.
tab icon Linux view space. Space icon C user local Java. Okay, so next we have to update the system environment variables. Nano PTC profile. Here we one dot seven. Control X, Y, Enter. Source, etc. Profile. Okay. So now you can type Java and Java C. Okay, it is working fine. So next, uh, our Tomcat is downloaded successfully and we have to install this one so file system user local uh, here i am creating one more directory local tomcat Okay, we have a Apache Tomcat installer in the downloads. Okay, tab iPhone ZXVF. Okay, iPhone C and specifying the output path extracted extract location. Okay, so here you can see Tomcat. And it is extracted to Apache iPhone Tomcat iPhone 8.0.23. Okay. So here you can see we have a bin folder, cons, lib, logs, temp, web apps, work. You can see in the bin folder we have some jars and we have executables. Okay. In the conf directory, we have server.xml and one global web.xml and tomcat users xml okay so in the lib we can see the servlet hyphen api jar and jsp hyphen api jar okay and next logs there is no logs once we start the tomcat server we can see the logs here temp directory and web apps here we have some sample applications here and work directory okay so how we can run tomcat server we have to go to bin directory and we have to run the startup.sh here startup.sh for windows we have a startup.bat okay so I am changing to user local tomcat apache bin. Okay. We have to start like this. Dot slash means dot means it is under current directory. Okay. It will look into current directory. Okay. Dot slash start up dot. So here I am typing sta. I am clicking okay here it is showing startup uh, running tom startup dot bad uh, startup dot sh and it is printed tomcat started let me check it is started open the browser type localhost colon 8080 
okay so this is the home page for the tomcat okay so it means your tomcat is up and running okay so here we have a button server status and manager app host manager okay once you can click on any one of these okay it will ask you for username and password okay by default uh, there is no username and password for the tomcat uh, set up in in the uh, package so we have to configure it okay so how we can configure it so we have to stop the tomcat server first how we can stop the tomcat server dot slash shutdown dot sh okay and then next go to apache tomcat conf open the tomcat hyphen users dot xml here you can copy one user node and it is you can paste it in outside the comments okay and you can give any username and password here and you have to specify the roles manage hyphen gui okay you can give this role and you can start your target okay then next go to browser and you can log in with target okay so we just logged into target server okay here you can see the server status here is the manager of manager and we can see the list of applications and html manage help we can see the html manager help and manager help and complete if you want to see the complete tomcat server status you can click on this and here is the server information okay tomcat version jvm version and jvm vendor os name os version architecture host name and ip address okay and here we can see the jvm uh, memory okay free memory is this one and total used max okay is it clear any doubts hello okay so so if you click on the list of applications here we can see the deployed applications okay uh, we can see the documentation of the apache tomcat and we can see some examples and host manager and manager is the applications to deploy some other applications okay so how we can uh, deploy applications in this and how we can run sample program in this so you can go to web apps you can okay first i will explain the web application directory structure then i will uh, explain you how we can deploy the application okay so So here, uh, are you able to see my screen? Okay. So uh, this sample web is my application name. Okay. So you can take any web application. It will contain this structure. Okay. You can take any web application. 
these folders you can see web iphone inf and meta iphone inf these for these two folders are mandatory okay so in this web iphone inf we can see classes folder okay if we have written any java uh, code means servlets or uh, servlets or uh, java code we can see those compiled classes this classes folder okay and the next lib directory if we used any some third party libraries like mysql connector jar or some 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 other third party jars we can see those directories in the lib directory those jars in the lib directory and one is the web.xml this is the application context file for your application okay so okay still are you able to see now oh okay now are you able to see So here, uh, sample web is my application name. You can take any web application. These two folders are mandatory. Meta if an INF and web if an INF. In the web if an INF, we can see classes and lib directory. In this classes folder, our compiled Java classes will be stored here. Classes directory. And if we used any third party libraries like MySQL connector jar, some uh, LDAP connector jar, okay those jars we can place in this lib directory if any application specific jars will be available in the lib directory okay and our application context file okay and what is uh, uh, startup server every every configuration we we have to do in the web.xml okay developers will do that okay and uh, if we used any images, we can create images folder here or we can directly place images in this folder. Okay, and if you are written any JavaScript scripts folder here and some index.html index.jsp. If you have any HTML pages and JSP pages, you can directly place here or you can create some folders and you can place those files in the subfolders also. Okay, this is the uh, default web application structure you can see you can take any web application it will follow this structure okay it will contain these two folders are mandate okay so so i want to deploy the application application into apache tomcat so how we can apply uh, i have a application folder i don't have var file okay i don't have var file i want to apply my application in the tomcat server how we can apply uh, so here uh, here i have a application sample okay in this i have some hello.jsp i want to apply this application okay i just have the um, application folder on it. i don't have where file okay i want to run this my application on tomcat server okay you can just copy the application folder and go to your apache tomcat and go to web apps directory and you can just paste your web application folder here 
okay and you can go to browser click on list of applications here you can see our deployed applications you can access the file it is just printing the hello world okay this is very simple way to deploy web application to Tomcat server and we have different ways okay we will see tomorrow uh, how we can deploy the web application this is the this is the manager application okay so using this manager application how we can deploy web applications into apache target okay here we have a different options deploy deploy a directory or where located on the server and where file deploy okay is it clear any doubts okay so i think you you all are the jenkins session is over right So I think you all are running Jenkins on 8080 port, right? So you will get conflicted. Okay. So tomorrow I will show you how we can uh, change the Tomcat port and uh, we can run Jenkins on uh, Tomcat also. So tomorrow I will show you how we can run Jenkins on Tomcat and how we can change the Tomcat port, okay? So thank you all. Bye for today.